Today, I'm going to show you how I use regular coffee to accelerate my hair growth, especially around my hairline. In my first two videos, I used a simple derma roller to recover a large percentage of hair. Several of you said that a DHT blocker would have improved my gains while derma rolling, and I was referred to minoxidil. I've used minoxidil before and saw positive results, but I wanted something stronger and more natural. Rosemary is natural, but it's about the same level of effectiveness as minoxidil. However, after reading three studies conducted by the NIH showing coffee as an effective blocker of DHT, as well as an excellent promoter of hair growth, superior to minoxidil, I decided to apply a coffee mask for 30 days to see if there was any truth to these studies and each one of these studies are linked in the description as usual. In addition to a coffee mask, I re-added minoxidil once per day as part of my routine. The first week of using my coffee mask, I didn't have a real plan of action, which was a mistake. I dealt with the mess of haphazardly mixing coffee with water in a bowl and slathering it across my scalp. I would then cover my head with a plastic bag and two wave caps. The next morning, I would rinse my hair and apply minoxidil and I did see gangs using this method, especially around my hairline, but it was just way too messy. I ended up with coffee splashed around my bathroom. Coffee leaked down my forehead and nape. And even worse, when I woke up in the morning, my bed was covered in coffee stains as the mixture had seeped through my plastic bag and weight caps. The first two nights, I also found myself having trouble sleeping. I think the caffeine made its way into my bloodstream. In week two, I focused on using less coffee and water per application and simply made sure I had full coverage of the mixture across my scalp. It was still a bit messy, but the reduction in product at least allowed me to keep my sheets clean. During week two, I noticed that my shedding increased, but the overall thickness of my remaining hairs improved. Perhaps minoxidil was the cause of the increased shedding, but I can only speculate, and the increased shedding did stop in week three. During week three, I created my own coffee hair elixir and bottled it inside an eyedropper. I basically mixed a baby spoon worth of coffee and water until it formed a paste-like consistency. I then mixed it inside an eyedropper with a baby spoon worth of organic coconut oil and proceeded to add three drops each of rosemary, peppermint, vanilla, jasmine, and lavender oils. The mixture had a good smell, but more importantly, it didn't leave stains behind. I applied it twice daily, once in the morning and once after my shower at night, and I applied minoxidil once a day after my shower. The coffee mixture was so effective at kickstarting my hair growth and thickening existing hair that I decided to keep this going indefinitely, along with minoxidil and derma rolling. Here are the results after one more month of using the coffee hair mask. In month two, I modified the coffee elixir and I replaced much of the distilled water with coconut oil. I'm not sure I will make the next batch this way. My skin and scalp are very tolerant of coconut oil. It's one of the only oils that don't cause me to break out, but it's a bit too oily for my scalp and the mixture is constantly separating, so I have to shake it really well before each use. Moving forward, I plan to be consistent and continue to report updates. Right now, my hair isn't perfect, but I'm comfortable enough to keep my routine and see just what my hair is capable of. I've also started using my coffee elixir and minoxidil to fill in patches on my beard and encourage growth. I will be documenting my beard journey as well as posting other videos sharing my search for healthy aging. With that said, I wish you all peace, health, and prosperity. Catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh my God.